What's cracking, guys? Omar Esau here. Here with the main man himself, Coach Brian. Coach, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Fantastic. People were losing their shit with how well you handle a snatch uh, in the previous video. They're, and also the, your hair. Like, half the comments were about your hair. Yeah, I feel like that is the source of my strength. Good. Okay. Yeah, we just want to clear that. Maybe go on a hair care routine sometime in the future. Would that be possible? We can do a video on it. Okay. Is it like a Bulgarian method? Is it like the Chinese? It's what? kind of a mixture. It's a bit of my own. Okay. A little bit of Brian. Okay. Why should people try and do high bar back squats? Well, in my opinion, you know, we've only got so many training days in the week. Uh, for to, uh, to get the most bang for your buck, a high bar back squat uh, is superior than the low bar. Uh, it <laughs> You're going to get some attention here. Please defend, dude. So I got you. I'm here to defend you, but like, please defend. So not that the low bar back squat is a bad exercise. Like, If you want to lift as much weight possible, that is the method to use. No doubt about it. But if you want to get better at Olympic lifting and you want to increase your mobility of both hip and ankle at the same time, then the high bar back squat is a better choice than the low bar. Okay, that, that's a pretty good explanation. Wouldn't you say though too, for those that do power lift, well their main movement would be the low bar back squat, adding in the high bar back squat for accessory work, also to maybe work the quads a little bit more, work an increased range of motion would be a good idea. Yeah, for sure. I mean, variation is key in any, any elite lifters training. So even for power lifters, incorporating an Olympic style squat, incorporating a front squat, it won't hurt you. You know, it'll only add another piece to your training. So the Coles Notes version of how to do a high bar back squat are as follows. Step one, you're gonna place your hands on the bar. You want your hands roughly just a little bit wider than shoulder width, and you want them even on the bar. You know, most common mistake we ever see is that guys duck under the bar with their hands before they put their hands on the bar. They take the bar off the rack and they're not in the center of the bar. It actually happens more times than you would think. So hands on the bar first. You've got a fairly close grip, a little bit wider than shoulder width. You're going to get yourself under the bar and the bar is going to be placed on top of the scapula. So it's right up on your traps. Your traps or your scapula should be retracted, so pulled together, creating a nice shelf right on top of that shoulder blade, and the bar is going to go on top of that. So not a low bar back squat where it's down the middle, even to the bottom of the scapula, but it's right on top of the scapula. When you pull the bar off the rack, you're going to feel actually like you're a little bit more stable in that position because it's shelved on your scapula. Shoulder blades pulled together, elbows pointing towards the ground, now you're ready to go. You're going to want to use uh, a hip width or a little bit wider stance for Olympic lifting. So if your heels are underneath um, your shoulders and your toes are flared out slightly, that's probably ideal for you. Based on your anatomy, we, we do change the stance of your squat accordingly, but generally when we start, you want your heels underneath your shoulders and your toes flared out slightly. Uh, once you're ready to go, you obviously want to brace your core, making sure you have neutral spine, and then you begin the descent. For a high bar back squat, the descent is going to begin with unlocking the knees and flaring them out slightly. So you don't want the knees to go way out over the feet like some people uh, preach, but you definitely want the knees to go forward and flare out slightly for the start of the descent. What this is going to do is allow you to remain upright for as long as possible and then you, you, you begin your descent or you finish it and you sink into the bottom position. In the bottom position, should be below parallel. Um, you're going to find that your knees are flared out slightly, but they're pointed over your toes. Your torso is in between your thighs with your chest up. Ideally, if your mobility is adequate, the angle of your torso and your shin are going to be parallel. And you're going to maintain lordosis or the arch in your lower back even at the bottom position. If you can't maintain that in the bottom position, then we do have to address mobility, but uh, ideally, uh, that's the position that you would have in the bottom. All right, so after you've reached the bottom position of the high bar back squat, to begin the concentric or the ascent, uh, you want to make sure that your knees stay out or stay over the toes. Uh, one of the most common mistakes that we see is that the knees tend to buckle in coming out of the bottom of the squat position. So you want to make sure that you force your knees or keep your knees out over the toe while you uh, finish the lift. Uh, another aspect for high bar back squatting and 
especially if you're doing Olympic lifting, is the subtle bounce that you get at the bottom of the squat. This is a good thing, something that we train for in Olympic lifting, but it should always be under control. So your squat shouldn't have a tempo like a broken elevator where you just crash to the bottom and come out of the hole. That is bad and uh, you won't last long doing that. It should be a controlled eccentric and then right in the last like one or two inches of that squat you can bounce out of the bottom and that's something that we see in weightlifting but it's not a broken elevator and I can't stress that enough. Uh, so that's the basics of the high bar back squat. Guys, that is the video bringing you some top tier content. How to Olympic high bar back squat. The basics. We want you in the comments section below to post what more you want to see. Because we're slowly getting into the Olympic lifting. But also as it applies to everyone watching the videos. And I want to make sure that everybody follows my boy Brian on Instagram. Make him your MCM, MCE. Right? What's your Instagram, dude? It's B underscore Marsh 27. Super Super simple, easy to remember. Go follow his ass, he's gonna be posting a whole bunch of Olympic content. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video, and I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace!